Working with groups and managing groups on iOS contact managing apps has never been easy, at least not until Cardhop. Cardhop makes it a snap. Just in the search bar, use the slash button and then type in the name of a group. As soon as I typed area, it found the Area 51 group for me and I can just scroll through it. If I select a contact in the group and then tap on the groups button, it shows me a list of all of the groups that they are connected to. I can check and uncheck to put them in different groups if I want, all from this window. A really clever trick is you can perform actions on entire groups. I'm going to go ahead and add to the beginning of this an email. So now I've added the action to email to the Area 51 group. I could tap on this button and I would open an email that has an email address to all of them. In addition to using the slash character, you can also use the pound character to get groups. And finally, you can use that same syntax to add a contact to a group. For instance, I've been typing in Kelvin's name here. If I want to add him to the Area 51 group, I just have to hit the slash and then area. And I can update the contact to put him in that group. So I'll go ahead and press that button. And now when I select his contact card, you'll see that he's in that group. Like I said, when it comes to managing groups and contacts, Cardhop has a lot of power.